have another great DIY tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute, um, distressed flower planters. Um, these can be used for indoor um, flowers, even wedding centerpieces. These look really, really great um, with some really full roses and they can also be used for outdoor planting. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this really great um, rusted look underneath and then um, how to finish these so that you get this shabby chic flower planter or flower holder. Um, so if you guys are ready to get started, I'm ready to show you guys how to do it. Let's go! first thing you're going to need is some coarse grit sandpaper. I'm using an 80 grit and this one says it's for stripping so look for something similar to this. Also to make it easier if you can get yourself one of these sanding blocks that will really help. It's not necessary but it does help. And as you can see you're going to be creating a lot of this dust and it's going to leave your hands black so make sure you're not wearing any good clothes. So all you're going to do is start sanding with your sandpaper and you need to really sand down till you start seeing these little dark spots. That's what you want. If you're not seeing these dark spots then you haven't sanded down enough. It's not going to be really black, it's not going to be really noticeable, but you should be able to tell that it's getting a little bit darker gray underneath. So you're just going to sand your whole bucket making sure to get these ridges and everywhere else. So just once again, as you can see, you're starting to see the darkness show through. So that's what you want. Now that I've got my bucket completely sanded, this is what it looks like. So for the next step, we're going to take our buckets outside or in the bathroom if you have good ventilation in there. You're going to apply some of this Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner. It doesn't matter which kind. Just make sure it says that it has 9.5% hydrogen chloride. And since we are dealing with an acid here, you want to make sure that you are wearing rubber gloves because this is corrosive to the skin, so be careful. And then rub it around until it starts to get nice and foamy. As you can see here, it's already starting a reaction with the metal and it's starting to turn quite dark. Now that's what you want. If you don't see this, then that means you haven't sanded your bucket enough. So just make sure that your bucket's completely coated and then we're just going to leave it for half an hour. After half an hour you're going to rinse it really really well and now you can see what's happened. It's starting to tarnish, you're starting to get a little bit of that rust and we even got some green spots on there. Now this is pretty cool. If you wanted to leave it like this you definitely could um, but this is not what the tutorial is so let's move on. So you just want to take your buckets outside I just wanted to show you this bucket. This is one that I hadn't sanded enough and you can see that instead of getting that tarnishing and stuff from the toilet boil cleaner, it really just turned slightly white. So that means that the bucket was not sanded enough. What you want is this very tarnished look. So I'm going to have to go back and sand that one over and I just wanted to show you that. So for the next step, you're going to mix yourself a solution that is one cup hydrogen peroxide, one cup white vinegar and one tablespoon of salt. And then we're just going to spray our bucket. It's going to start that rusting process that weather would normally do for us, but it takes much longer to wait for weather to do it. So we're just speeding things up with this. So just spray your buckets. You're going to leave them outside in the sun for an hour and spray it a couple more times over that hour. Once your buckets are dry after that hour, you're going to end up having a very gritty film. So just rinse your bucket to get rid of that. Once your bucket's rinsed, we're just going to apply a matte clear coat and we're going to do two coats of this and that's just to protect the rusting when we start distressing it in a later step. Once your clear coat has dried thoroughly, you're then ready to paint. We're going to be using Martha Stewart acrylic craft paints. I really like these paints and um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll notice that I use these paints quite a lot. So you can choose whatever colors you like and then just give your bucket two coats. You have to wait an hour in between coats and then let them dry overnight. Once your buckets have dried, 
you're ready to start distressing them. You're going to need a finer grit sandpaper. I'm using 180 grit, which is a finishing paper. So you're just going to take one of your buckets and you're going to start very lightly sanding over the ridges and any parts that you want to look worn. And you're just going to very lightly sand. You don't want to put any pressure on this. You're just going to let the sandpaper do all the work. So if you just rub the sandpaper over it very lightly, you'll start to see the rusty finish showing through. And that's why we applied that clear coat to allow a little bit of extra protection. And that's all you want to do. So once you start seeing it come through, you want to stop and move on to another area. So something like that. And this is my bucket that I've already done. So this is what we're trying to achieve. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish all of my buckets like this and then I'm ready to put them to good use. For now I've planted some outdoor flowers in these buckets but once it starts to get colder outside again I'll be using them indoors for some beautiful flower arrangements. Alright, that's it guys. Um, if you want a few more little tips on this project, head over to my blog, thecreativeglobe.com. I'll be leaving that link in the description below so you can easily find it. Um, I'll have some extra tips on there, so make sure you head over there. Don't forget that if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep up with when I'm posting all of my newest videos. If you want, you can come find me on Facebook and Twitter and a bunch of other places. I've got all those links in the description of this video as well. So making it really easy for you guys to come find me all of those places. If you have any comments or questions or anything, make sure you leave those in the comments section. And um, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!